Marbles on Stream is a game designed for live streamers, where all you do is watch marbles rolling down a track in a race to reach the finish line. Viewers can participate in the race by typing play, and they'll get a marble with their name on it spawning in a random location in the start area. After that, the game runs a simulation to see which one wins. It's a really fun game and made mostly for streamer to viewer interaction, but the game also keeps track of the world record on every map. Shining brightly atop the screen with the record holder and their respective time, standing in all their might for the world to see. Because of the sheer amount of rounds that have been played in marbles over the years, these world records are so optimized that new ones are incredibly hard to come by, often requiring one in a million skips and shortcuts that aren't reproducible. But by pure coincidence, in one of my marble sessions on stream, we stumbled upon a track where we noticed there was still some time to gain. And this is our journey towards ultimately becoming Marbles on Stream World Champions. This is Twists and Turns 2, one of the 36 official Marbles on Stream tracks. As you're soon about to see, we chose this one for a very good reason. But first, let me show you what it looks like. The track starts off with a slope, where the marbles will fall onto a disc and they have to make their way through the hole in the middle. After that, there's a few turns and intersections, where so long as you don't crash in any obstacle head-on, you won't gain or lose substantial amounts of time. Then there's the funnels, three of them, where the marbles will fall in and you ideally just want them to bounce smoothly through. But the most important part of the map is right at the ending. After passing through the last funnel, the marbles go towards a spinning wall of death, where it is absolutely vital that you get through cleanly, or else the run will be over. And then, there's just two more turns and a safe drop into the finished basket. They say that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, but ours began on the 3rd of May 2020 with just one happy little accident. That's good enough, man. That's good enough. We'll get there. But let's see who gets first. This is gonna be an interesting map. We played it before. Lissy with the completely wrecked start. That might just be the round. Who can catch up to that? Like, good luck. Like, that's that's basically like winning the lottery. <laughs> yeah, that's. But this has got to be such a fast time. The world record is 132. Keep in mind. Lissy here, that's not all, like far off, I think. This really is not far off the world record. So, I think this could be a real gamer moment if Lissy gets the world record. Needs a good transition through this. <gasps> no, that's gonna be a bit of a stuck. It does not matter. It's still a, a win, I think. Unless, but it's it's not the world record anymore. That that, that was a world record start, I'm so sure. It took a while for us to realize what had happened, but after an in-depth analysis, we concluded that Lissy's marble must have collided with another marble in a way where the backspin from the collision caused it to land at a full stop, and then it just rolled straight down into the hole. If we were going to beat the world record, then we'd have to get Lissy's start again, but after restarting over and over for nearly an hour, we didn't get any promising attempts. As it was getting late, we made the reasonable decision to do just one final attempt. <gasps> Mig! Yes, yes, yes. This is so good. Let's go, boys. <laughs> we have a start. We have the Lissy start. Okay, okay, this is so good. He's, he's a light year ahead of everyone. This could be it, boys. Would love to see a direct. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna have a. We, we need a good ending. Okay, so Lissy had a 118 here. Mig is gonna have. I'd say a 115. This is gonna be good with the cycle. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, no, don't get pushed. Oh, this is so good, actually. This is close, boys. I think it's a 137, maybe. Oh, come on. Wait, it's faster. 132. No. <laughs> 
135, man. Okay, give it up for Nick in the chat. That first day, we had seen a glimpse of greatness, and we had tasted the potential for glory. We kept trying over and over for the next few days, but all we could get was just one okayish attempt. While it was obvious that Mig had lost a lot of time in his run, it was hard to imagine we'd both get a Lissy start and then a clean run afterwards. Gage 41,010's 132.48 just seemed like a monumental task to go up against. We decided to put marbles on the back burner and we didn't do any attempts for the following month. But a few days ago, on the 4th of June, there was an update to Marbles on Stream. A new season. And because of that, all the records had been reset. We immediately got into Twist and Turns 2 as quick as we could, and we saw that the record yet hadn't gone lower than a 138. This was our chance. After playing for a while, we realized the problem. What if someone got the Lissy start, but then they hadn't practiced the rest of the map? You see, in marbles, you actually have zero control over your marble during the race, so it's very important that you fully train the map ahead of a godlike start. It was simply a risk we couldn't afford to take. We decided to do a practice run, and the player that came in last place was Beta Toast 2. I noticed that Beta Toast, he might not be the one we want with a good start, but I trust you, Beta Toast, when the time comes. You will step up to the task of clutching. You will achieve greatness for the entire stream if it is you who gets bestowed upon with the lucky start. If you ever feel like a failure, if you ever think you could do better or be better, then I want you to remember Beta Toast too. Whether it's at something as simple as marbles on stream or other things you want to achieve in life, when you feel defeated in last place at rock bottom, Remember Beta Toast 2, because he did not quit. He was set on proving everyone else wrong, and just a few attempts later, the unthinkable happened. Five more, and then we're gonna play a normal. Here we go. Let's do it. Come on. One bounce here. <gasps> Beta Toast! The one who was last earlier in his first now! I can't believe what I'm seeing! Don't choke this one! For the love of God, Beta Toast, it's all on you! You have the world record start, this could be it! The man is in first place right now on world record pace! Chat is happy as ever, come on! Beta Toast, I trust you! I trust you with this, this is your moment! This is your moment, Beta Toast! I take back everything I've ever said, as long as you clutch this one. Great pace here by Beta Toast. Come on chat, give him your energy. This could be it. This could be it. He's a few seconds behind Mig, but he could get it better here. Oh, he's ahead of Mig! He's ahead! He is ahead, he's on pace! This is a 133 pace run. This could really be our Marbles world record here by Beta Toast. Oh my god. He needs a good ending here though, and he's going very slow, 135 pace, now the cycle, please hit the cycle, beat a toast, this is what it comes down to, this spinning bar, oh he might barely be in time, he might barely, no, no, <laughs> oh is it enough, is it enough here, is it enough, the timer is ticking, we have 138 to beat, please beat a toast, Oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Did we? Did we get it? <laughs> Did we get it? <laughs> Did he do it? Did he do it? I can't believe it. Did he actually do it? This is what it comes down to. Everyone else's marble pushed him forward. They got a bad spawn so he could get a good one. And now we have a Marbles world record to show for it. 137.96, we actually went ahead and did it. That is a new world record for all the world to see. Look at that, man. 
<laughs> Crazy. Although we'd technically gotten the world record, our own local record from MIG was still 2 seconds faster, and the previous world record was another 3 seconds out of that again. It felt like a bittersweet victory, and we were debating returning to the track to improve it again. But when we checked it the next day, the choice was clear. Beta Toast's world record had been beaten by Ray after Grey, who did a 1.32, bringing the record back to the original standard. But now, we had to defend what was rightfully ours. We started doing attempts again, but realized that the chances of two marbles colliding with only 60 players was very slim. All we needed now was more manpower. Bingo. Thanks to a raid from Riulu, we now had twice the amount of players going for it, and the attempts were plentiful. It was just a matter of time. Writing history, moves has gone through, I repeat. Sound the alarms, we have an attempt. Let's do chat. I don't know how many times we tried, but I know we'll try until we do it. One more time. Oh, <gasps> Sim Pride! Oh, this is better! This is better than Mixed Start! This is better! Okay, okay, chat. You need to get some hype for our man Sim Pride. This is looking so, so good right now. Get some hype. Come on, Sim Pride, let's do it. You are on the pace. You're on the pace, good sir. Okay. Okay, okay, no, this is not bad. Mig had a very fast start. Simp right here. He could get a very good entry into this. Oh my god! He left Mig in the dirt! This is so fast, chat! This is so, so fast. This is actually pace. Come on, Simp Pride, hit this one too. Oh, he's gonna roll. It's still good. It's still. Oh my god. If he hits the spinner, this is world record. Just hit the spinner, Simp Pride. Just hit it. Just hit it. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking really good. Chat. It's actually so good. This has gotta be it. This has gotta be it. Where is Mig? Oh, it's more than three seconds. Please let it be. <laughs> A 128. A 128. Chat. A 128. <laughs> what a run. What an absolute god. Let this be a testament to remaining positive and remaining patient and knowing that your chance will come in the end if you are concise and working towards a goal and trying your very best. You all did this together, chat. And here is what we have left of that. 
There it is. The world record tag. He's the only person in the world with a yellow name on this. And there he went. When we watched back Simfried's new world record, we noticed something very interesting at the ending. His marble passed straight through the spinning wall on our next run, telling us that the cycle wasn't consistent. If I had pressed start race one second earlier or one second later, then we might have gotten a cycle that would kill Simfried's run. But for now, and for the foreseeable future, we can safely say that we did it, and that as a team, we collectively hold a world record in marbles on stream.